Greetings and salutations, Titanium Tim, 18, here in beautiful Titusville, Florida. And before I say anything else, go outside and look at what a beautiful day it is. Okay, so we got a project today, boys and girls, ladies and germs, so stick around and I'll show you it all. Right now, let me introduce to you a 1990 Whirlpool refrigerator. Now this thing has been working since 1999. Freeze is great, cools great, works awesome. Only problem is, come on over here and let me show you. It's got some little blemishes here. It's got rust. I gotta get this adhesive off. This is where the Whirlpool sticker was. It's got some rust here, some marks here. Overall, it's not the worst for wear, but somebody who shall remain nameless once it painted. She was gonna try to paint it with house paint, and I said, you know, not a good idea. It wouldn't stick very well. Peels off quick. It's just not worth it. It's not worth your time because you prep it, you paint it, and in a couple months it looks terrible again. And sometimes it won't even stick. So anyway, I went down to the Home Depot and got me some appliance paint. Now, I went to Home Depot because I don't shop at Lowe's anymore. That's a whole nother sidebar. Anyway. Vote with your money. I went to Home Depot and got the paint. I got some mineral spirits to clean up and wipe that down with so there's no debris on there so everything looks nice and smooth. And I got me a pan and a roller just for this project. And what I like to do is take a garbage bag and put this pan in the garbage bag, put a paint in that, and then use the roller. And then when I'm done, I take the roller head because these, this epoxy paint's a bear to clean. I take the roller head and put it in the bag and then take the bag off of this, turn it inside out, throw it away, don't get any paint on anything, and this stays completely dry and clean and ready for the next use, along with the handle. I try to, I, I'll put some painter's tape around that handle um, and then peel it off in case anything gets on there. It gets, it's easier to clean up. I'm lazy, I don't like to clean stuff up. So anyway, and that's what we're doing today. So I'm gonna sand that with some paper, sandpaper and then I'm gonna wipe it down with the simple green and then some warm soapy water wipe it down again wipe it down with mineral spirits because i don't want any particulate matter on the surface because as everybody knows prep is 99 percent of how good your work looks and i'm a firm believer in prepping it real well i'd rather spend an hour prepping it and 10 minutes painting it than 10 minutes prepping it an hour painting it and it looks like hell so anyway let me get started on that i'll keep checking in on you from time to time there's no point in me boring you with how these handles come off. They got Phillips head screws on them up the top and right there. So I'll take that off and then I'll sand it down. You don't need to see me. Everybody knows how to sand the refrigerator. I'll sand it down and I'll, uh, I'll flick it back on for a minute for the sanding and the painting just so you can see how it goes. And then I'll show you the finished product. Let me take you on a, a better tour of it. I was just thinking about that so you can see the difference. You see how it looks here? I got this. And there's some rust here behind here. And there's a lot of just general blemishes, rust, dark spots. I mean, it would clean up well enough for me. And the same down here. It would clean up relatively good. I mean, it'd clean up enough for me because it's only a, a garage refrigerator, but some people are just picky. So anyway, let me get started. I'll get it done and I'll check. Oh, one more thing. Well, a couple more things. I just got this Hero 8 Black. I'm gonna do an unboxing on that today. And I'm gonna show you this battery operated Royobi leaf blower I got. Man, it is fantastic. Gets the cats behind. And I'm also gonna do a video. Let me spin you around. On my 2018 Ford Fusion, I really need to give Ford kudos on that. It's got 169,000 and something miles. Only done oil changes, tires. I did put plugs in it like 5,000, 4,000 miles ago. And that was it. And that thing still runs like a top. It'll still burn rubber. Still gets 32 miles a gallon on the highway at 70 miles an hour. And that runs like a scalded dog. Transmission's making a bit of noise, but 170,000 miles, I would too. So anyway, I'm going to sit you back down here. I'm going to start working on this. Play some tunes. I can't record the tunes because I don't want a copyright strike. And I'll get back with you soon. So sit back, relax, have a cold one, and chill. 
Okay, I just wanted to check back in with you. I sanded it. See all the sanding I did on it? Now I'm gonna take this hot soapy water and clean the surface real good. You wanna be liberal with the water because you wanna get all that white off of there, that chalky stuff. You wanna get all that off of there. See how it's turning white a little bit? You wanna get all that off of there because you don't want any of that chalky stuff on there to cause you any grief so your paint won't stick. Do it real careful, like. Alrighty, see that? Sides, side, I'm gonna paint the sides too. I'm not painting, I'm not taking the whole door off. I could have taken them off and sprayed them, but I don't want to do all that. They wouldn't look any better than what I'm doing now. So anyway, warm soapy water. That'll take me a towel. Dry it off real good. Alright. I already hit it with the with the mineral spirits a little bit. I'm gonna hit it again with a little bit to see how it does. Make sure I got all the stuff off of it. But like I said, prep is so important with this stuff. Because if you prep it good, it's less work and it looks good. Alright, so I'll probably speed this up. Alright, that's it. I'll check in when you want to paint it. See you. Alright, now as you can see, I put the paint in the pan and I'm going to roll this on and we're going to let you watch it. I'll, I'll speed it up so you won't be bored with tears. Okay, we're back for the final check-in. How's it look? Looks pretty good, huh? Oh, it looks pretty good. Only mistake I made, and this is a hot tip for y'all, do not use the cloth roller that they tell you, the foam roller. I mean the, the fiber roller. Use the foam rubber roller. I got one over here I use on the house all the time. See this one over here? Use this one. And the reason I'm telling you that is because the other one left some boogers behind and I had to dig them out of the paint with my knife and repaint it. Fortunately, they're all gone now, so I got it nice and smooth. And I did the handles. So the handles are done. I'm sorry I'm moving so fast. I know a lot of people don't like that. But I'll put the handles off. You really don't need them. And I'm debating leaving them off because you can just grab it back here 
and pull it. Looks much better without the handles, but I think it turned out real good overall. Not a single rust spot. I hope the homeowner's happy with it. All right, until then, I'm gonna give you guys a, another video about my GoPro and my, that wasn't me farting. I sat in this little chair there, see? Little chair moves around, wasn't me farting, ha ha. Okay, always remember, never forget. It's not what happens to you, it's how you deal with it. Okay, so I love you guys, I'm checking out and I'll see you soon.